As the sun dipped below the rounded peaks of the Appalachian Mountains, direct evidence that these hills are older still than the jagged edges of the Rocky Mountains. A silvery mist rolled through the valley, enveloping the abandoned Hollow Creek Hospital, though the old place has gone by many names over the years. Once a sanctuary for the sick, the building now loomed like a forgotten spectre, its cracked windows reflecting the last flickers of daylight. Legend had it that the screams of the past still echoed within its walls, and no one dared to visit after dark. On one Halloween night, however, a group of four friends, Blake, Lily, Marco, and Sarah, found themselves drawn to the hospital, emboldened by an adventure and a dare. Flashlights in hand and laughter echoing through the trees, they approached the crumbling complex. After much patience, as they searched for an entrance, they finally found one, the metal door creaking open on rusted hinges, revealing a world frozen in decay. The air inside was thick with mold and whispers as they stepped from a narrow hallway and into a dilapidated lobby, their footsteps kicking up dust of unknown origins. The perfect haunted house, Marco joked, elbowing Blake, who only shivered in response. The faint smell of antiseptic, mixed with something more primal, made it hard to breathe. As they wandered deeper into the wards, each room told a story, remnants of a life left behind. Rusted gurneys, cracked medicine bottles, peeling paint. Lily, always the bravest, inched towards the surgical room, its sterile instruments gleaming under her flashlight. The thing was, something else was gleaming there too. Guys, check this out, she called, illuminating an old operating table that seemed frozen in time. Scattered on the table were gems of different sizes and variety. Everything from amethyst to rubies to sapphires to diamonds, all mixed in with the metallic sheen of the surgical instruments. Then suddenly, Sarah felt it, a cold breeze that chilled her to the bone sending goosebumps racing down her arms. Did you guys feel that? She murmured, her voice barely above a whisper. Before they could decide what to do with their find, Marco called them back into the hall. The three friends found Marco at the nurse's station, where a sun-bleached calendar hung, stuck on October 1963. Something's down here this way, Marco said, his voice trailing off. Just then, a loud clang echoed through the halls, causing them all to jump. What was that? Blake asked, eyes wide. They stood in silence, hearts pounding, straining to hear over the static hum of their flashlights. A second clang reverberated, this time followed by a low moan that crept through the cold air. The friends exchanged nervous glances, a mix of fear and curiosity igniting their adrenaline. We should just get out of here, Sarah whispered, tugging on Blake's sleeve. But just as they turned to leave, a shadow flickered at the end of the corridor. Lily moved closer and her friends, against their better judgment, moved with her, the beam of their flashlights trembling wildly. In the dim light, they saw it, a translucent figure clad in a tattered nurse's uniform her face obscured yet filled with a haunting sorrow. With trembling hands, she reached out as if pleading for help. Then the four of them caught a glimpse of the nurse's eyes, fiery rubies burning in the sockets. The friends froze, panic clawing at their throats. Run, Blake yelled, and they all suddenly found their agency, sprinting back towards the entrance. Their earlier laughter replaced now with screams of terror as they stumbled one over the other, as they burst through the doorway and to the safety of a tree line beyond. Panting heavily, they paused to catch their breath, the hospital's eerie silhouette looming behind them like an intimate lie. Did we really just see that? Marco gasped, shaking his head in disbelief. But deep down they all knew, the night held more than just tales of ghosts. It held memories of those whose stories had yet to be told. Stories of another realm, another place. As the four friends retreated down the path, 
the soft breeze whispered through the trees, carrying with it the echoes of Hollow Creek, a reminder that some places are forever tainted by the past. The friends vowed never to return, but as they turned away, faint laughter, both mischievous and mournful, hung in the fog, a chilling farewell that would linger in their minds for the rest of their lives. Thank you.